everybody, welcome to the Blady live stream, guys. Today is the last day of our flash sale deal, so I hope you guys are here and enjoying the show. And you guys can still grab those great deals for a day, so let's get started. Okay, so as always, guys, we're gonna be live on four platforms. We're gonna be live on Facebook, on YouTube, on bladypower.com, and um, possibly on Amazon later. So let's get started guys today we have giveaways every 25 minutes okay and again we have uh, three or four platforms so we'll do one platform at a time okay and the sequences uh, the sequence of the platforms is the following first we'll do the giveaway on youtube then we'll do a giveaway on facebook and then we'll do a giveaway on bloodypower.com and then possibly we'll do a giveaway on amazon so, what are the giveaways for today? Okay, it's a great question. I'm glad you guys asked. Uh, the giveaways are big, very, very big. So, number one, we're giving away PV200 portable solar panel, okay? And uh, you can actually see the giveaways in the description if you are on Facebook or on um, on uh, YouTube, for example. You can see the description. So, description says we have four PV200 portable solar panels, but this is not it. For every power station or solar panel purchased today, you will get 5,000 Bluetti bucks for free. And our Bluetti bucks are used, you can exchange them for coupons. So you can basically get great discount, like 50, $100 off with those Bluetti bucks. And you can even exchange them for our Blue Eddy merch, such as t-shirts, hoodies, and other cool accessories from Blue Eddy. So this 5,000 Blue Eddy box really wouldn't go amiss. And you don't want to guys to really just waste this opportunity. So I highly recommend you guys purchase whatever you want. Any power station or solar panel has to be either or, or both, cannot be a cable, cannot be anything else purchase a power station or solar panel today and get 5,000 Blue Eddy bucks. But for that, you have to actually add a note. When you purchase, there is like notes uh, section and you want to say, you want to write live stream there so we can give you 5,000 Blue Eddy bucks. And guys, today we have big giveaways and the prices are here. You guys can see them. The prices are here. Um, the bundle. So what we have today on the list is, and I'm just checking the, the description, by the way. So EB70S right here, okay? EB70S and PV120S. PV120S is a 120 watt portable solar panel. EB70S and PV200. AC 180 on the floor because we all have enough room here, but AC 180 is our newest portable power station at 1,152 watt hours and 1,800 watts. AC 180 and PV 120S, again, we put them into bundles. AC 180 and PV 200. And also, most importantly, okay, last but not least, and arguably the most important, AC 300 and B 300. And we have the lowest price in history for AC 300 and B 300. Even lower, even lower than for Black Friday. Guys, the price is going to be amazing. It is already amazing. You guys can just check it out right now. The price for AC 300 and B 300 will definitely shock you in a good way. Okay, it will surprise you. It is the lowest price in history. So for A 300 and B 300, the price is only $2,299. Okay, but we also offer one A 300 and two B 300 portable uh, mobile power stations and its extension batteries. So, and the price for A300 and two B300 batteries is only $4,198. So guys, wow, days, days, last year will be great of good news. We'll have winners every 25 minutes. We'll do giveaways. And at the same time, we also have amazing deals for everything that you have, you, you see in the description especially for AC300 and for B300. So if you wanted to purchase this bundle, this 
modular solar generator, now is the best time, ACE300 and B300. So if you don't mind, I will start with ACE300 and B300, guys, because I really don't want you to miss this opportunity to purchase. So what is AC300 and B300? Well, basically, this is a modular solar generator. So a B300 is the battery of AC300. So AC300 doesn't have a battery inside, right? But it has a battery here. And the reason why we put it outside is actually very simple, because we don't want to make it too heavy. This is number one. Number two, you know, in 10, 15 years, when the batteries can no longer be used, you just replace the batteries and you don't have to replace the main unit. Number three, if there is uh, some problem with the main unit, you can ship it uh, separately, so it will save you a lot of money on shipping. And um, it's relatively lightweight. This unit is relatively lightweight uh, because the battery is all here. And number four is that we want you to decide how much battery capacity you need. So we're not um, making you to purchase like two batteries or three batteries or four batteries. You can actually choose how much battery capacity you need. It's all up to you. It's all up to your budget. So it can be one battery, it can be two ones, three or four ones. Okay. It entirely depends on your needs, on your family needs or your business needs. Many people use it for business. So uh, let's take a look at what ACE 300 offers. Number one, ACE 300 can run a lot of power hungry devices, okay? The reason why is because it has a very, very, very large battery. It's a 3072 watt hour battery, as it says right here, okay? And we use only one battery chemistry, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Those are the best because Number one, they give you five times the runtime of lithium ion batteries. So these batteries give you 3,500 cycles. Now, what is a cycle? When you discharge it and charge it, okay, this is one cycle, and you can do it 3,500 times. But what happens after 3,500 times? The batteries, the batteries don't die, the batteries don't just, you know, uh, Basically, you can actually keep using them, okay? Is that the battery capacity drops to 80% of the original capacity. So even after 3,500 cycles, you will still have 80% of that original capacity. And isn't that remarkable, really? In 3,500 cycles, how much is that in real life? Well, let's say you use it for your business or maybe you live off the grid, okay? and you want to use it every single day. And let's say for simplicity reasons, uh, for simplicity's sake, you run one cycle every single day. Guys, we can use this spotless search to calculate real quick. So 3,500 divided by 365, right? And we've got 9.6, almost 10 years of runtime. So even if you run one cycle every single day, and I think you'll agree on that, most realistically, you won't run a cycle a day. It will be less than that, okay? Because it's a large battery. You can still use it for 10 years, okay? For 10 years. And after 10 years of every single day, use no days off, no holidays, you will still have 80% of that original capacity. Now that is fantastic, guys. Those are just facts and you can't argue with them, really. It's fantastic. And what's more, you can have anywhere from one battery to four batteries. It can be one, two, three, or four. You cannot have more than four for one AC300. If you wanna have more than four, you wanna connect two AC300 modules together with a communication cord that we provide if you purchase uh, two AC300s. And um, you can connect up to four batteries to one unit and one to the other, and you have four to one for that, it's eight. And now, you know, in America, it's 120 volts, right? So when you have two AC300s, you will have this split phase thing. So you will actually have this fusion box with one output that it can provide 230 volts, 240 volts, right? So you can run some uh, terminal dry washing machines, well palms, and things like that. So a lot of possibilities. And you can start small, you can start just like that. One S300, one S300, that's enough for many people. And then you can add one more battery, two more, three more, and potentially even add another A300 and build your basically ecosystem. And the reason why I say ecosystem is because 
This is also a modular solar generator, okay? So solar power is great, and you guys, if you have solar panels on your rooftop, it definitely gives you peace of mind, but you also need some, um, somewhere to store this solar power so that you can run your home appliances on cloudy days, right? And we all have consequent cloudy days, or maybe it's raining and not much solar power there and you wanna store it somewhere. So you can store it right here. You can charge from solar panels, either your rooftop solar panels, there is a caveat to that, you have to have this step down module because the voltage of your rooftop solar panels is probably too high, so you want to lower, lower it a little bit so that it's suitable for AC300. But this is like very nuanced thing. Point is, you can charge it from your rooftop solar panels and or from portable solar panels. No problem at all. Okay guys, let me just have a look at the comments real quick because I really like checking your comments. Now, guys, if you could give us a like on YouTube, on Facebook, um, I would really, really appreciate that. It definitely does help us a lot with algorithms. I wanna say hi to Notslim One, who was the first one to say hello. Uh, Robert Rodriguez, uh, Knox, Bennett, Jim, uh, hope you like pics. I remember you. And 1293 uh, Venus R. Kathy for inside. Okay, guys. Bobby Rogers, Silver Stiller, Rambling Bob Reviews, Mike, Mike uh, Dustin. Uh, who else? Who else is here? Jennifer. Hello, guys. Very good to see you. Okay, very good to see you guys. Please give us a like. Thank you so much. And, guys, if you can comment on YouTube, that's because you haven't followed us. So, please, I mean, you haven't subscribed. So, please subscribe. Thank you so so much so guys and I think you remember the price for ace 300 they is the best time to buy so rest assured when if you purchase ace 300 today you will get the best deal ever okay so I uh, also want to say hi to our uh, followers on Facebook and to our community on Facebook okay I want to load the comments right now we have 19 people on Facebook that's amazing hello Jeff hello who else is on Facebook okay I'm frozen here but that's my Wi-Fi hopefully you guys can hear us and see us clearly okay so again you can connect there are two things you have to understand number one uh, it can run power hungry devices, okay? Because it has a large battery capacity. So depending on how many batteries you have, okay, 3,072 watt hours and go ahead and multiply it by one, two, uh, by two, three, or four. Um, so if we have two batteries, that would be 6,144 watt hours. If we have three batteries, it would be 9,120, uh, uh, 9,216 watt hours. If we had four batteries, this is the maximum for one is 300, we would have 12,288 watt hours of battery capacity. That is a lot, okay? So it can run power hungry devices. Uh, but it also can run multiple very, very high load devices, okay? Because the inverter here is 3,000 watts. 3,000 watts, that's three kilowatts. So you can run one device that pulls out 3,000 watts, no problem, or you can run multiple devices and in total it cannot exceed 3,000 watts. You guys can see it right here, it says 3,000 watts. This is kind of when, where the name AC300 stems from, 3,000 watts, okay? Now, so we already know that we can run very power hungry devices because we have a lot of battery capacity. We can run high load devices. Now, can we run multiple devices at the same time? Do we have enough outputs here? Let's take a look. So on the very top, we have classic two wireless charging pads here for our phones. Those are wireless charging pads, 15 watts each. So you can charge two phones at the same time. Now, what we have here is a 12 volt and 30 amp aviation kind of RV plug. So if you uh, spend a lot of time in RV, it's very useful to have 12 volt and 30 amp RV plug. So guys, just uh, please note that both voltage and amperage is very high. So it's good news, 12 volts and 30 amps. Here we have 24 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port. We even had to put a warning. It wasn't here originally, we had to put it because people were mixing it with 12 volt and 24 volt is superior. It's just better. You have a more stable connection, faster charging. Come on, it's 24 volts and 10 amps. 
However, there are some people who say, well, uh, you, you know, my appliance, it only supports 12 volts. So no worries at all because Again, you will have at least one B300 with A300 and it does have a standard 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port. So you will have at least one standard 12 volt 10 amp uh, for your AC300. Now let's go back uh, to the AC300 outputs. And what we have here is a USB-C port, 100 watts. That is quick charge, right? 100 watts. What we have here is a USB-A port. And those are also quick charge. We have uh, two USB-A ports. Those are 18 watts. And here we have, again, two more USB-A ports. Those are standard, five volts and three amps. So these are the DC outputs, okay? Again, two wireless sharing pads, four USB ports, two of them is quick charge, two of them are uh, standard, and one USB-C port. And what we have here is AC outputs. We have 20 amp max, 120 volt outputs, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And we have one NEMA TT30, that is a, um, an output you can charge your, your RV or your vehicle in general from. So this is a 30 amp, 120 volt output. And the highest you guys can go is 3000 watts, okay? So you don't want to exceed this number, that would be really not good, that would damage the device, but you can go up 3000 watts, this is already very, very high. And it's a pure sine wave inverter, so you can run your medical devices and you can just charge your devices without worrying that you will damage them. Now, uh, these are the outputs on AC300, but remember for each AC, I mean for AC300 you have to have a B300 and B300 has some outputs too. So as we already seen, it has a USB, uh, sorry, it has a um, car power socket, 12 volts and 10 amps, right? It has a USB-C port, again, a hard watts quick charge and a USB-A port, 18 watts quick charge. So those are the best outputs, I mean, because both the, this and this one are quick charge, 100 watts and 18 watts correspondingly, and this one is 12 volt and 10 amp uh, cigarette lighter port. Very handy when we have a 24 volt and 10 amp, so you can run all the devices that support 20, 24 volt connection, but if they don't, you always can run them from this battery, okay? So right now we are at 3,072 watt hours of battery capacity, okay? Now here's some more information about AC300 and B300 that you want to learn before you purchase that so that we can guarantee that you are happy with your purchase because I always say that there is definitely a power station in Blue Eddy for you, okay? We just have to find the right one. So again, right now it is at 3,072 watt hours of battery capacity, but you can connect three more batteries and you will be at 12,288 watt hours of battery capacity. The maximum AC load it can do is 3,000 watts and the surge power is 6,000 watts. It has an app control and I will show you the app control. And we have a warranty for four years for our uh, AC300. Now, how about the size? So it's 20.5 inches in length, 12.5 inches in width, and it's 14.1 inches in height. And it weighs in at 47.6 pounds. You probably would think it weighs more, but because it doesn't have a battery inside, it only weighs 47.6 pounds. Now, speaking about this uh, B300 battery, okay, so it's uh, 20.5 inches and 12.5 inches, so the same width and length, so it's um, easy to stack them one on the other. And the weight is 79.6 pounds, okay, I don't want to misinform anybody, so it is kind of on a heavy side, but this is because we have 3,072 watt hours of premium lithium iron phosphate batteries there, so just there is no way it, it can be lightweight. Now, let's talk about charging of AC300 because actually this is where good things happen. First of all, we don't need adapters at all. We finally stepped away from them. So all we have are cables here. Um, to save our time, I've already connected them to AC300. Here, guys, let me show you. So there we go. So we have an AC charging cable here or better say the AC charging cable. This is, uh, again, you just connect it like this, you don't need an adapter, and you plug this in and voila, that. Okay. Uh, 
So this is the solar charging cable. And as you guys can see, we have not one, but two pairs of MC4 connectors, okay? Now, all we have to do, we have like one, two, three, four here, so we have to match them. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> um, but basically, you want to match it here, and you want to connect it like this. And yeah, by the way, for AC, it supports um, 100 to 120 volts, okay, AC for AC input and 30 amps max. And for DC, for DC input, it supports from 12 to 150 volts DC and 12 amperes by two. So what it means is basically um, for DC, you don't want the input to be lower than 12 volts, it will simply not work, okay, it will not even kick off. Um, and you don't want it to be higher than 150 volts because it will damage the device, so you don't want to do that. You want to keep it within from 12 to 150 volts and you'll be just fine and we have two pairs of MC4 connectors so you can connect even more solar panels see we have one pair and the other pair right here okay and uh, if you're wondering what is oh just realize you guys probably cannot see those specifications but um, this this input is actually a communication interface, so you can connect it natively with another AC300. So here's where input uh, is located. Now, let me also show you what, in, what is next to the input. Just trying to turn a little bit so you guys can have a better view. So um, we connected with those cables. So this is the cable we connect with, there is no magical connection, no Bluetooth connection. Uh, we have to physically connect them with those thick cables and you have to lock them so it works and it's safe. And uh, this is the B300 battery, guys. If we just kind of go down a little bit, if we can, with the camera, I don't know if we can. Okay, cool. So this is where B300 battery is. And if you guys take a look here, each B300 battery has DC input. It's native DC input. It's from 12 to 60 volts DC and uh, 10 amps, okay? So you can use this very input to recharge from solar panels. Very, very, it comes in very handy when you're outdoors and you want to connect more solar panels, okay? So you can recharge from solar panels and you can recharge it from an adapter. So you guys can see 58.8 volt DC and eight amp adapter. I'm just using this uh, DC7909 of our um, T500 adapter. So basically, um, let's think about it. When you are charging your AC300, what you're basically doing is you're charging its battery, okay? Um, so you can definitely charge it from the, just these cables, no problem. But you can also increase charging speed by connecting one more charging source to the B300 battery. And remember guys, you can have one, two, three, or four batteries. So you can connect additional adapters or additional solar panels or both because those inputs are separate to each B300 battery. That's how you increase the charging speed, speed up the charting, right? So, but actually charging from these cables will be just fast enough for most people. So for AC, it accepts from 100 to 120 volts and 30 amps max. So the maximum input you will have is 3000 watts. That is if you have a 30 amp input, okay? Many people don't. So that is if you have 120 volt and 30 amp input, you can, uh, you can uh, get as high as 3000 watts coming in your A300's B300. Now, speaking about DC, um, it's from 12 to 150 volts and 12 amps by two. And so basically the highest input from DC it can take is 2400 watts, okay? And because those AC and DC inputs are separate, you can charge from AC and from DC at the same time, and that is 3000 watts plus 2,400 watts, that is 5,400 watts, okay? Um, so this is the charting. This is the charting of AC300. So it accepts 2,400 watts of solar, basically, of DC input, and 3,000 watts maximum of AC input, okay? So, um, and you can charge at the same time. Let's take a look at the screen right now. 
because a 300 has a very interesting screen, LCD screen, and it also can tell us a lot of things about a 300 But actually, I just realized we have three minutes before the giveaway, so maybe let's talk about the screen after the giveaway. So uh, people are already commenting Blue Yeti giveaway. Uh, but guys, uh, start commenting in two minutes and 55 seconds when the timer hits zero. Where will the fourth giveaway be then? Uh, I'm not sure if we are live streaming on... Okay, we not, we don't, we don't. So where will the fourth giveaway be? Can you let us know, Blue Yeti official? Okay, guys, very happy to see you on Facebook and on YouTube on, on all the platforms. Uh, okay, let me just check the comments real quick, just checking the comments. Yeah, about the about the uh, cable to connect B80 expansion battery to um, other device to other power stations. We don't have the cables for sale yet. Uh, yeah, we don't have the cables available yet. That's true. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, again, 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 we'll do our first giveaway on YouTube. Okay, we'll do our first giveaway on YouTube. I open YouTube on my phone so that I can take a screenshot more conveniently and show it to you. So jump on YouTube, everybody. On YouTube, we are called Blue Eddie, and just go to our YouTube channel, click live, and you will see our live stream there. I'm, I'm, I'll also try to share the link right now to our YouTube live stream, okay? All right, just send the link um, on Facebook. So our first giveaway is going to be on YouTube and uh, if you're also on our website guys go on our YouTube channel and make sure you guys follow us there I just send the link one more time make sure you guys follow us there because only follow uh, I mean subscribe I'm sorry uh, because only subscribers can comment and to take part in a giveaway you have to be commenting you have to be typing bloody giveaway don't type the same word uh, many times because YouTube will restrict you from typing the same word repetitively so you don't want to be restricted from commenting for quote-unquote spam spamming so get creative type bloody uh, live stream different things okay um, Let's go guys get ready for the giveaway and uh, So our giveaway is PV200, right? So today we have four PV200s. Is that correct? Three, three PV200s. Okay, I have three giveaways then <laughs> um, Yeah, three giveaways on each platform But you can jump on all the platforms guys because I tell you in advance what platform it is going to be I see many many comments guys. Uh, we have 41 people right now on YouTube guys, please give us a like. Thank you so much 41 people We have to have at least 41 likes, right? We have 24 likes. Oh, uh, thank you so much guys for supporting us and let's see who gets our first PV200 panel and PV200 uh, panel is fantastic, high quality, not the cheapest panel on the, on the market, uh, panel, as you say planet, not the cheapest panel on the market, you can find a cheaper one, but why would you if you can get the highest quality panels and right now we give it away, which is just mind blowing. So guys, how will it work? In 10 seconds, I'll take a screenshot um, we are focusing on my phone right now and in 10 seconds I'll do this, this is a test, okay? Whoever's comments in the bottom wins. So if you guys ready, let's go after 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Let's go. Okay. So who is the winner? And it's Dennis C. Don. Dennis C. Congratulations. Dennis C. I can see you're the winner. So congratulations, Dennis C. And you got our PV200 portable solar panel. Where is it at? It's not here. It's someone moved it. Oh, it's there. PV200. Yeah. Uh, so Dennis, congratulations. Actually, remember your name. PV PV200. Uh, yeah, no. PV200, PV. Yeah. No, no. PV200. The biggest. No. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. So, thank you to our cameraman. Ooh. This is the panel you get. You'll get a brand new one because it has our filthy fingerprints on it. So, we'll just ship a brand new one to Dennis C. 
That's your day. Congratulations. Again, guys, <laughs> I'm telling you, if I wasn't live streaming here, I would be with, I would, I would make competition to, um, to you because I would be just with you typing, typing uh, Blue Eddy and taking part in the giveaways. Because those are great. I mean, you can just win a solo panel. What? Ooh, I mean, I don't come out with those rules. So thank you so much, guys, for taking part in this giveaway. And with those giveaways, honestly, it's very easy to forget that we also have amazing deals because now we can compare it with basically, oh, you give them away. Well, we don't necessarily give them away. We just um, do this to kind of, you know, attract more people. And the point of this live stream is to tell you guys that today is a flash sale day four. Still trying to figure out where, okay, day four and it's, you can save up to $2,000, okay? And this is not sort of like marketing strategy. Oh, save $1,000. The prices are actually like good in real life. So <laughs> go ahead and purchase whatever you wanted to purchase right now, absolutely knowing that you got it at the best price. And guys, Make no mistake, you can use it for 10 plus years easily. We're talking more like 15 years, okay? And even after 15 years, you can keep using it. It's just that the battery will degrade faster, but that's not a big deal, right? You will still have 80% of this huge 3,072 watt hour of battery capacity. Guys, as human beings, it's hard for us to think long term. Some people are better than that, some people are worse than that. But when you get lithium iron phosphate batteries, you're getting 3,500 cycles, okay? You go ahead and buy from competitors lithium ion batteries, and you get the same looking batteries from the exterior, they look the same, but you have 500, maybe 1,000 cycles. And I'm not destroying anybody's business. It's actually an open information. You can just go to the website and check the number of cycles. It is very important to do that. Here we have 3,500 cycles, okay? So again, lithium ion batteries, 500 to 1,000 cycles maximum. So get the best batteries, especially right now, you can really get them at the best possible price. Again, the price for AC300 and uh, B300, guys, let me tell you the accurate price right now. So for AC300 and B300, get a bundle, don't get it separately because it needs the battery to work. $2,299. That is a fantastic price. I can't believe this is the actual price. And A300 and 2B300s are 4,192 dollars. Okay, one more thing you have to know. This device is a UPS. UPS stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. So this device will help you during blackouts as well as during power outages. To help you during power outages, it has to have a sufficient battery capacity and it does have it. Now, every household's needs is different. It all it all is up to you whether you want to run only the most essential loads or you want to feel more comfy and run more devices. You can get again from one to four batteries. So it will back you up during power outages, but it will help you during blackouts, okay? Maybe you don't want your computers and your TVs to turn off. It's annoying, I remember that. We don't have blackouts here that often, we actually never have them, but in Europe, where I'm from, or in America, often Canada too, blackouts, it's part of our life. So you can actually change that, okay? Yeah, we were not taught that at school, but guys, you can actually be proactive and change that because this is also a UPS device. So let me give you a class example real quick. How does it work? So basically, let's say you're working on your computer, your desktop, it doesn't have a battery, okay? So you plug it in the wall outlet. When the blackout happens, the power from the wall outlet is gone, so your desktop turns off, okay? Now, uh, what you can do instead is you can plug your desktop in AC300 and you plug AC300 in a wall outlet and B300 obviously, okay? Uh, what it does under UPS mode, it bypasses power from the wall outlet to your desktop, to your CPAP machine, to your TV, to your refrigerator, whatever it is. It bypasses the power so it doesn't, it does not 
um, it does not waste any power, any battery. It's actually charging. But when the blackout happens, in a matter of 0.02 seconds, 20 milliseconds, it switches to the battery, okay? So your desktop stays on, your TV stays on. You're watching a movie, you know, it's a blackout, maybe they're repairing something there, and it's really annoying. Now it's much better than it was back in the day, you know, because now the programs on your computer that save automatically, and the movie will probably start from the same time where you stop, but still, you know, we, we got used to this level of comfort. We don't want this level of friction. Oh, you have to turn the TV on again, go search the movie, or reopen that program of yours, even though it's saved automatically. So it will just not happen, okay? Of course, you will not be able to back up every single uh, load, every single device in your home, but you can back up the most essential ones and really protect you from blackouts. You will find more about UPS because we actually have not one, not two, but four UPS modes. We have an offline UPS and we even have an online UPS, a smart UPS that you can actually program and you don't have to know a programming language for that. Very easy to do. Let me show you the screen of AC300. So what we have here is the home page. First of all, you can actually choose the brightness that satisfies you. Maybe it's too dim for you, you can actually slide it all the way up, and now it's too bright, I imagine. So let's go back like this. All right, cool. So what we have here on the home page is we can see what is the input from PV. So what is the current input from PV? What is the current input from grid, okay? If we click on PV, we can see DC1 input voltage, and DC1 input power, DC2 input voltage, and DC2 input power. Click on grid and get an AC input voltage information, AC input power, and AC input frequency. Here we have the battery life. Click on it and you can see, again, we can connect up to four batteries. We connected one. It is currently at 72% of charge online, okay? Um, DC load, okay? Those are DC outputs, right? Those are DC outputs. So we can see what is the total DC output power, what is this 24 volt and 10 amp output power? What is this 12 volt 30 amp output power? And what are those USB, PD, and wireless output power here? AC load. We can see the output voltage, output power, and output frequency for all these AC outputs. Let's go back. Settings. Let's turn AC off for a sec. Settings. So uh, we have language settings. We can switch it from English to Japanese. Um, I don't, I don't think it's useful <laughs> for most of us. So AC output voltage can be 120 or 100 volts. AC output frequency can be 60 hertz or 50 hertz. DC one input source and DC two input source. If you charge from PV, photovoltaic, solar panel, same thing, keep it PV. If you're charging from any other methods, you can switch to others, okay, here. Now, go next and eco mode, eco on or off. So it explains what it does. You probably already know what it does. It turns off your AC inverter in four hours. If there is no load or a low load, it does so to save the battery. Useful for most people. Unless you're running some devices that you know will not work for four hours and that will kick back on, like refrigerators, like a 12 volt fridge, for example. So in this case, you want to turn it off. So depending on what device you're running, it can be very useful or actually quite um, not very useful. So you can turn it on or off as you want. Machine type. How many H200s do we have? One, okay? If we had two, we could turn split phase, and we can operate two AC300s together. Working mode, so this is where customized UPS and other UPS modes are uh, to be found. Standard UPS, time control UPS, PV priority UPS, and customized UPS. Again, UPS is uninterrupted power supply. So standard UPS, we have, have an explanation here, basically an offline UPS. Next, oh, sorry, here, we have time control UPS. So what is a time control UPS? Again, it explains what it is here, but you can go to time settings and you can set up to six time frames here, okay? Working mode, when to start and when to end. So to start at what time and to end at what time. So you can basically program it, that's what I was talking about, 
when to charge and when to discharge. And you can also uh, control parameter settings, battery set of charge low and battery set of charge high. So when the battery drops to let's say 10%, we wanted to cut off any load so that it saves some power, so you can set it at 10%. And let's say when the battery is charged to 90%, we want it to stop charging. So again, it's better for the longevity of the battery. Okay, let's go back to the customized UPS. And here you can set the grid charge status and time control status, either enable or disable them. Time settings, again, explains what it is here and you can set up to six time frames when to start working when to stop working when to start working when to stop working very useful for many projects of yours you might do you know and you can present it according to solar hours when it's um when to charge and when to discharge and according to your you know basically electricity consumption habits um soc settings here we already know about that Okay, and we have silent mode on or off. This is for charting. Next, we have max grid input current, 15 amps by default. You can choose anything from 1 to 15 amps. For example, 5 amps, you can do that. But you can also choose all the way up to 30 amps because it does allow 30 amp max of input. But we have some safety reasons, you know, uh, that made us uh, request a password. Well, actually, you have to request a password from Bluetti if you want to, if you want to use this uh, 30 amp. This is not a password, by the way, just a random number. So we have to request a password, and Bluetti will give you this, and now you can have up to 30 amps. Next, we have PV parallel enable. So when you charge from PV in parallel, turn it on. When you charge from Sirius, turn it off. I wonder if this was the reason why we couldn't set it to others. Yes, that was. So now we can set it to others. Okay, cool. Because before it would automatically jump back to on PV. So PV parallel on or off, Bluetooth on or off. So if not playing to use the app, which is fantastic, and I'll show you the app, you can turn it off. If you want to use it, turn it on. You can also connect to the app via Wi-Fi. So turn on or off if you want to. Next we have bother settings on or off. Next we have touch sound. I find it to be not really pleasant, but some people like it, so you can turn it on or off. Uh, next we have backlight brightness, date and time, and we can set a sleep time on the screen which is very satisfying, like I said, it to never, and restore vector settings for the USA. Okay, here we have data, product info, inverter charger info, battery info, and alarm history, and we have alarms here. So this is the uh, screen of AC300. Now, what is better than the screen is the app for AC300, and uh, similar power stations that have Bluetooth, okay, they support app control. So all you want to do is just go and open Blue Eddy on your phone. It will, it will load the page for you. It will show you the devices, my devices. And it will show you the devices that you have already connected. If you haven't connected, just go ahead and connect it by scanning the QR code or just, it's very easy to connect, guys. So we'll, you'll figure that out. So AC300 right here. We can connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So right now we've connected via Wi-Fi, as we can see uh, right here. This cloud shows us it's Wi-Fi. And what we can do here, we can turn DC on and off from the app. Okay. All right. So we can turn DC and AC on and off. We can check out the battery information all from the app. Pack one, pack two, pack three, pack four. Okay, we can also go to settings. We can change the name of the unit if you want to. You can add or unadd un anything. User manuals. Check out the user manuals. Those are available in PDF format. Those are also included, of course, in the paper version, but you can also check them out here. And you can also find very useful um, materials on how to connect to expansion battery, touchscreen guide, and everything else. You can share this device to control it with other people, like with your family or roommates or friends. Um, you can 
choose the connection mode, either cloud, which is Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth. You can check out carbon emission uh, factor, working mode, UPS mode. So we have customized UPS, peer priority, everything we saw there on the screen. You can also do it in the app. And like I said, SOC high and low here. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, and um, auto sleep on the screen, about device, and about device you can find many things like Wi-Fi name, network status, serial number, communication board SN, etc. And you can unbind the device here. So this is the app control for A6300. Okay, cool. All right, so let me check the comments. Blady is cool, says, uh, thank you for saying we are cool. Okay, so what else, what else? Um, yeah, how do I purchase to use my Blady box and a coupon code at the same time? So can you please tell Sharfar Made on YouTube how to purchase and use the coupon and Blady box um, at the same time? Coupon code and Blady box at the same time. Can you adjust the amount of power coming in from the grid? Yes, Jim, you can by adjusting the amperage. So you can choose the amperage from 1 to 15 amps. And also, if you want up to 30 amps, you have to request a password from Blady, and they will give you this password, and you can adjust amperage from 1 to 30 amps. So, and the amperage will basically limit the input. What is the difference between B300S and B300? Only works with A400? Well, uh, B300, so it, it, it might be a tongue twister even for me guys, but here's the thing, it's a great question Bohdan. So um, B300, okay, so basically B300 works with both AC300 and AC500, okay, it works both with this and AC500. Now, a B300S only works with AC500. That is difference number one. Difference number two, B300S has this self-heating mode. It can work, you can charge it under temperatures down to minus, um, minus four Fahrenheit, minus 20 Celsius. It was not possible before. You cannot charge batteries under those extreme colds, but now you can because B300S has the self-heating mode. B300S also has a higher solar input compared to B300, so this is the difference. So yeah, it does make a difference. Yeah, no worries. Uh, guys, I appreciate your questions. Yeah, okay, so... What is that? Yeah, guys, I have to tell you this, okay? They pull it on the screen, so I'm just gonna read it. AC300 and B300, $2,299. Now, is it a good price? It's a good question, I'm glad you asked, right? So, uh, a good price, a market price is dollar for a watt hour. So, this is 3,072 watt hours. Let's go ahead and divide it by 229. Nine. Okay. Uh, well, the opposite. I mean, divide two to nine nine. The price by three thousand seventy two. It's seventy four cents for a watt hour. And we're talking just about this, but we also include this. You basically. <laughs> here's how to understand that. Is it a good price? You get this under a great price, seventy four cents for a watt hour. And you get this for free, basically. This is how it works, right? So this is a massive inverter, 3000 watts, UPS mode, four UPS modes, uh, right? And multiple high quality outputs like this RV output, the SNEMA TT30. And the price is only $2,299. And it is indeed lowest price in history. It is lowest price in history. It is lowest price in history. A300 and 2B300 batteries is $4,198. Order and note live stream. 
during the live to get 5,000 Blue Eddy box. You can exchange them for merchandise and most importantly for coupons and discounts. Okay? And also, guys, the party doesn't end here, it, also, it only starts here. You will get, if you place the biggest order, maybe someone was waiting for this flash sale to purchase for the whole community, for the whole business, and they want to purchase many things. So we will analyze what was the highest order during the live stream, and we will give that person one PV200 for free. Okay? So that is just a win-win, and um, yeah. How much does it cost to replace these batteries? Uh, it is actually not a thing. There is no such thing as replacing a battery inside. It doesn't, no, uh, there is no such thing. So um, if there is no uh, flaw in the batteries, they have to work properly for 3,500 cycles. And if they don't, you can ship them back and get a new one if it's if it's Blady's fault. Or, or you can um, get new batteries after 15 years, but there is no such thing as replacement. We're not aware of that. Guys, let's play a short video. And now, um, uh, this voice in that video is pretty if we honest, but don't mind the voice and just try to grasp the content. It's about ordering and noting Blue Eddy and you will uh, live stream and you will get 5,000 Blue Eddy bucks. So let's go. <laughs> And authorized purchase. Open BladyPower.com and select the power station or solar panel you want to buy. Click Add to Cart. Now click View Cart. Now add notes, live stream to unlock additional bonus. And now proceed to checkout. And authorize purchase. Open BladyPower.com and select the power station or solar panel you want to buy. Click Add to Cart. Now click View Cart. Now add notes, live stream, to unlock additional bonus. And now proceed to checkout. Authorized purchase. Open BladyPower.com and select the power station or solar panel you want to buy. Click Add to Cart. Now click View Cart. Now add notes, live stream, to unlock additional bonus. And now proceed to checkout. And authorize purchase. this video that was enough so guys uh, right now I have a very important announcement um, first of all the next giveaway is going to be on Facebook so everybody go on Facebook and I'm sending you guys the link for Facebook right now let me try to send it uh, let me try to share this uh, Facebook link with you guys so you guys can go on Facebook and take part in our giveaway because this giveaway will take place on Facebook and on Facebook we are Blue Eddy Global so send you the link right now all right um, and guys go on Facebook now if you are on our website also go on Facebook because the giveaway will be there okay it will be there 
What is the giveaway? The giveaway is PV200 portable solar panel, the one I have right here. Okay, there we go. And yeah, there we go, guys. So if you want to take part in the giveaway, it's very easy. Just go on Facebook and um, it will be there. All right. So five seconds before the giveaway. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Bloody Global. Uh, I'm using Bloody's account. I wasn't aware that if I use my personal account, I will only see my friends' comments. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, but now I am, so I am using Bloody's account and I can see everybody's comments. I think there is no really question about that, right? So I can see everybody's comments. So guys, go on Facebook and keep commenting. Blue Eddy, live stream, PV200, good luck everybody, Blue Eddy, gold, it also counts. Uh, Blue Eddy, okay, and let's go. And I'll take a screenshot in 10 seconds when everybody's ready. So a 10 second countdown right now, and let's go guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so who is the winner? Elena Makarenko. Congratulations, congratulations. Okay, so please send us an email. Uh, our email address is livestream at blueeddy.com. I always forget it, I don't know why. Livestream at blueeddy.com, okay? Send us an email, send us your shipping info so we can ship PV200 to you. And you got this PV200 for, as a giveaway, you know? Congratulations to the winner, okay? And uh, what is PV200? Guys, by the way, even right now under a super, super big promotion, PV200 is still $349. So that is a big giveaway if you think about it. All right, cool guys, so our next giveaway will be on bloodypower.com. So you want to go there in advance, bloodypower.com, go there, go on the website, wait for a couple of seconds, and a small window where we're live stream will pop up, and you can just click there and enter our live room there. Okay, now, did I say that we have our fourth giveaway today? on YouTube because uh, we had to cancel the Amazon's live stream. So we will still do four giveaways just like advertised, you know, and we'll do our fourth giveaway. We have to pick one platform and we picked YouTube. Hope you guys don't mind. So everybody has a YouTube channel. I mean, everybody has a YouTube account. So you guys can go on YouTube for a fourth giveaway, but next giveaway will be on blueeddypower.com. Hopefully that is clear. If it's not, feel free to ask. I'll explain it one more time. Okay, so uh, now it's been almost an hour and we still have A200 Max and A280 and EB70S. So probably it's time to wrap it up about A300 and B300, guys. The only reason why I started with A300 and B300 is because it's really the lowest price in history, okay? For Blue Yeti. So if you wanted to get A300 B300, get it now, okay? You will not regret it. We have a four year warranty for A300 and B300, 3500 cycles, 3000 watts, 3072 watt hours. And in my opinion, it's always good to know that you can connect more batteries in the future if you need them, okay? So right now you can start small with one battery, small of course, in quotes, but you can always connect more batteries. It's always good to know that, it gives you peace of mind. We'll back up your house during power outages, we'll help you during blackouts, we'll just eliminate them because it has a UPS mode and just a great device to have at home, okay? So absolutely get it. A300 and B300 can't recommend it enough. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let me see if we have any questions. If you guys have any questions about A300 or anything else, let me know. Next giveaway is on Facebook. Uh, sorry, next giveaway is on bloodypower.com. Next, next giveaway is on bloodypower.com. 
Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, guys, make sure you reply to Sharfar May's questions because I think there's some miscommunication going on there. <laughs> okay, so uh, here from YouTube, amazing, good to see you here. Okay, all right, guys, now let's move on. AC 180, and AC 180 is a more portable unit. Um, let me show it to you. Oh, all right. This is A two hundred eighty, so uh, it's a one thousand one hundred fifty two watt hour and one thousand eight hundred watt unit. So uh, it is more again, it's more portable, more mobile. It it is for your adventures. You can put it in a van. You can take it with you if you go camping for like a week. So let's take a look. Number one, what is the battery capacity? The battery capacity is 1,150 watt hours. Kind of an odd number, I know, but it's what the battery capacity is. Next thing you know is you notice that it is 1,800 watts. Okay, so this uh, this inverter this inverter can handle up to 1800 watts of load okay now you will not find many dc outputs here because we wanted to actually bring the cost down as much as we could and still give you a more portable version of like acer Art max so we made it more lightweight um because the battery capacity is not as large as for acer max so hopefully you like it if you don't like it get acer Art max but if you need something portable you might really consider AC 180. So let's take a look at the outputs. We have four AC outputs here. Those are 120 volts and 1,800 watts. The surge power is 2,700 watts. Here we have a 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port, a one USB C port, 100 watts, and four USB A ports, five volts and three amps. And we have a wireless charging pad on the top. We have a nice screen here. It is similar to the screen of EB3A, but more advanced. We can see the input here and the output right here, battery life, estimate operation time left, eco mode on and off, um, wireless charging pad on or off, AC and DC on or off, and the frequency here, okay? And if we have any, like, for example, right now is it power lifting mode? So we have this sign right here. And we'll have more if we enable more options in the app. This is the input, this is uh, the, PV uh, slash MPPT input. This is for solar panels, okay, and for, uh, for solar panels and for car charting. So, and it says 12, 28 volts and 10 amps, doesn't it? So, correct. You can charge from your vehicle or you can charge from solar panels with this input, one at a time, of course. AC input is here and it's 120 volt and 9 amp input. And you don't need an adapter for it. All you need is this. Uh, computer plug basically so let me show it to you what I have here is the accessories for a C180 so all you need is really just one computer plug and you can find them everywhere well it also is included in the box there we go okay and you go ahead and plug it in in your wall outlet or in a generator you can also do that yes you can and you charge it's just like that. Now, can you charge from AC and from solar panels at the same time? Yes, you can. So go ahead and uh, plug it in here. Okay. And now you're charging from solar panels. And you can also charge from a wall, but at the same time. All right. So how big is it? How big is it? Might uh, be hard to tell. Okay. But I'll tell you guys exact metrics. So it is. 13.4 uh, inches by 9.7 inches here and 12.5 uh, inches and the weight is 37.4 pounds. In the box you will find uh, the uh, AC charting cable, this one. You will also find the solar charting cable, okay? And this is DC7909 to MC4 connectors. MC4 connectors are universal, they're compatible with basically all the solar panels in the market, unless it's some proprietary solar panels from some brands. We want name names, we want, we want. Okay, and a car charting cable too. 
Where's our car charging cable? It's here, it dropped on the floor, but we can pick it up. So here's the car charging cable, guys. You can also charge from your vehicle. How much time will it take you to charge from your vehicle? What do you think? A 1,152 watt hour battery. It will take you a long time. It will take you 12 hours to recharge from zero to hero, but you don't need to rely on your vehicle to recharge it because you can also recharge it from solar panels. So it accepts up to 200 watts of solar input. It will take you four hours to recharge from portable solar panels when you're on the go from zero to 100%. And when it comes to solar panels, you just have to choose any solar panel on the market as long as it's with a comp uh, of a compatible voltage. So the voltage has to be, as it says here, not lower than 12 volts and not higher than 28 volts. You might ask, how about A, how about amperage? Don't worry about amperage at all. We have an MPPT controller. No matter what is the external amperage, it will only accept 10 amps. It doesn't work the same way with voltage. With voltage, you have to really Limit it so it cannot be higher than 28 volts. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. 60 volts here is from 12 to 60 volts. Okay, it's a bigger unit, sure, from 12 to 60 volts. So that is why you can connect up to two PV to 100 uh, panels. Okay, from one uh, from uh, for up to two PV to 100 uh, panels in series, 60 volts, right? Um, or alternatively, you can connect one PV 420 panel and uh, it will take you four hours to recharge from zero to 100% and approximately 3.2 hours to recharge from zero to 80%. But of course, the fastest way to recharge it is, and accepts, I said, accepts 500 watts of solar input, 12 to 60 volts and 10 amps, 500 watts. Okay, now, uh, even the fastest way to recharge it is charging from a wall outlet, okay? And we have three charging modes, silent, standard, and turbo. Under silent charging mode, you will have an input of around 160 volts. It will take you five hours to recharge from zero to 100%, but it will be silent. Under standard charging mode, you will have an input of around 1050 watts and it will take you 1.6 hours to recharge from zero to 100 percent and finally under turbo charging mode you will have an input around 1440 watts and it will take you only 1.3 hours to recharge from zero to 100 percent and only 42 minutes to recharge from zero to 80 percent so yes you can recharge this big power station from zero to 80% in just a matter of 42 minutes to be exact. So how impressive is that? Let me know in the comments guys and I'm checking your comments right now. Okay, hello everybody who is new here who just joined. I imagine you guys all on our website right now. I am. Okay, yeah, 60 volts, correct guys. That was a slip of the tongue for me, of me, because, um, yeah, 60 volts, correct. We're total 60 volts and 500 watts of solar input. Just got my ace right today. It will only charge to 99%. Um, okay, well, is that, is that really the thing? I didn't try to recharge it fully, but is that a big, uh, is that a big uh, problem uh, that it charges 99%? Uh, okay, all right. Okay, good, we don't have any questions. If you guys have questions, do ask. Next giveaway is in 13 minutes and 20 seconds. So what else? Let me tell you guys how long you can charge or discharge your, uh, I mean, how long you can charge your devices from AC 180. So, for example, okay, if we're talking about a a phones, um, it can charge your phones many times. Specifically, it can charge your phones like 33 times, 33.4 times. We're talking about iPhone 12 as an example. Uh, so, it is really um, not only for phones. You can charge more powerful devices, no problem. You can charge your laptops. For example, it can charge your laptop 15 times. It can charge your 16 watt hour camera 32 times so it's like for your off-grid project can charge your 40 watt fridge for 16.8 hours can charge your 75 watt tv for 10.1 hours can charge can run your 
200 watt, I mean, can run your TV, sorry, can run your 200 watt slow cooker for 4.2 hours and it can even run your 1500 watt coffee maker for 36 minutes straight. Only takes a couple of minutes to make coffee, so no worries about that. Okay, now let's take a look at the screen and uh, the app for AC180. First of all, the screen. So let's try actually charting it from a wall outlet. Let's go ahead and plug it in. In this case, we'll be using EP Fire Pro. It will serve as a wall outlet. Okay, and let's see what is the charting speed. Again, I don't need an adapter. I just use this cable. That's all I need. All right, so let's go to the app. I'm gonna connect to AC180 right now. So there we go, I'm connected to AC180 right now and it shows 254 uh, watts of input. Now I can try charge, changing it from silent to turbo. Let's see what happens. Okay, and now we have 1,450 watts of input under turbo turning mode. Now the fans kicked off, I can hear them. But uh, yeah, 1,400 watts of input under turbo charging mode. So let's go ahead and try switching it to standard charging mode. Turbo standard, standard charging mode, and we are now at 1,050 watts, just as promised. 1,050 watts, 1,040 watts. And it shows us here, it will take us 0 0.4 hours to recharge to 100%. Now, what else is in the app? Well, we can do basic things like change the name of the device here. We can also go ahead and um, read user manuals. Okay, user manuals are in the PDF here. And uh, yeah, share device. Okay, let's go into silent mode. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the fans or not, but I think under silent will be better. Okay, so share device, uh, charting mode, you can see the charting mode here, standard, silent, or turbo. Uh, next, you can enable power lifting mode. So under power lifting mode, you can load devices up to 2,700 watts. Next, we have eco mode, and it's quite an advanced eco mode. So basically what you can do is you can just stick to the default settings, or you can set it yourself. AC eco, you can set the AC eco power. Um, so anywhere from 15 to 30 watts. So basically, let's say 25 watts, right? It means it will shut down the inverter in three hours, can be two hours, can be one hour, four hours, if the load is less than 25 watts. And you can set it to 20 watts, 15 watts, whatever you guys want to set it to. Okay, so 15 watts, that means we'll shut down the ACE inverter if the load is lower than 15 watts after two hours. Next, we have DC Eco. So it will shut down the DC inverter if the load is lower than Set it to whatever you want, five to 10 watts, can be eight as, or five as an example. So we'll shut down the DC inverter in two hours, can also be one hour or three or four hours if the load is lower than five watts. This is the eco mode. Next, we have firmware upgrade. So you can access upgrade just from your phone. Just here, let's check if we update. And we are. And we have advanced settings, like we can change the frequency and we can enable grid enhancement mode. So this is the app of AC180. Speaking about the price of AC180, let's take a look what the price is for AC180. And it is only, let's see. $799, no, $799. Let's calculate what is going to be for a watt hour. 799 divided by uh, 1,152. Oh my God, it's only 69 cents for a watt hour, guys. That is a great deal. 69 cents for a watt hour. So 
we realized at Ready, we realized, well, you know what? Maybe people don't need a third Max. Maybe they want something less. So why not give them one more option, which is AC 180, okay? 1,152 watts as opposed to 2,048 watts. So of course, we'll be able to offer it at a better price. For reference, AC 100 Max at 2,048 watt hours, it is $1,299. So, if you want something smaller, something less um, in terms of battery capacity, get a 180. And the price is fantastic. It's only $799, which makes it only 69 cents for a watt hour, where the market price is a dollar for a watt hour and companies are trying hard to cut the corners to offer the prices around 80 cents for a watt hour and we're offering 69 cents for a watt hour so what you will not find here are sophisticated dc outputs we made it very minimalistic we only we remained the outputs that are not commonly used and we only kept the most essential outputs like uh, 12 10 amp cigarette lighter port and usb a ports so we still have a lot of strength pattern on the top and we still have four um wall outlets here so and the price, guys, is just marvelous. It's $799 only. So go ahead and grab yourself one AC 180. This is an amazing price. <laughs> yes, those names are random. For example, my name here is Robust Cake 57436. But uh, as far as I know, you can actually change those names. I am not sure how to do it on a laptop, but on your phone, you can probably change the name. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, those names are funny. So, guys, oh, by the way, we're still charting it right now under Southern Charting Mode and 254. 5 watts. So it accepts up to 500 watts of solar, okay? It's 12 to 60 volts and 10 amps. Up to 500 watt of solar it accepts. Whew, okay, cool. So let's unplug it. By the way, guys, also this unit is grounded. Some places require you to have your units grounded. Maybe if you go to some places, places like for a picnic, or you want to take it somewhere public, they might require you to have it grounded. It is grounded right here. Here we have a short circuit protected, so it is 100% safe. Yeah, there we go, great shot. So, 100% safe. Okay, now I would also like to bring your attention to one more unit, and the reason why is because we just have an amazing deal for it. It is, maybe you already recognize it, it is EB70S. Now, EB70S is an earlier unit. It was released a couple of years ago, so it is, you will not find many advanced features like app control, UPS mode, a, um, a charging via uh, just a cable without an adapter. Yes, it cannot compete with newer models, you know, but it still gets the job done. This is the best way to characterize it. It is still, it still, it still gets the job done, and this is what most people care about, right? So, will it charge my devices? Will it charge my, will it run my CPAP machine? Will it charge my, will it run my desktop computer? Yes, it will. So, let's take a look at EB70S. The battery capacity of EB70S is. Uh, 716 watt hours. What does that mean exactly? How long can it run my devices, right? You might ask. So let me tell you guys how long it can run your devices. Now, it can charge your phone 44 times. It can charge your uh, laptop 10 times. Your drone battery 25 times. Your camera 34 hours. It can run your 80 watt power tool for, let me see, uh, 6.5 hours, correct. It can run your 90 watt fridge for 5.8 hours. It can run your 75 watt TV for 6.9 hours. It can run your 200 watt slow cooker for 2.7 hours. It can run your 230 watt ice maker. Maybe you, you know, in the business that makes coffee and you guys want to have an ice maker even during power outages. It can run your 250 watt 
ice maker for 2.2 hours. It can run your 600 watt mini blender for one hour, 60 watt mini fridge for nine hours, and it can even run your LED lights uh, 15 watts for 34.3 hours. So this is what uh, 716 watt hours of battery capacity really means. Now, this model is rated at 2,500 cycles to 80% of the original capacity. That is still a lot of cycles. So if you use it every single day, one cycle, you will have approximately seven years of runtime, right? 2,500 divided by 365, and we've got 6.8, so seven years of runtime. The maximum AC load here is 800 watts, okay? And the surge power is 1400 watts. Now we have a warranty for two years for this power station. Okay, but it's smaller, more compact, so it's like 12.6 inches by 8.5 inches and 8.7 inches, and the weight is 21.4 pounds, so it's smaller and more compact. In the box of your AC, oh, sorry, of your EB70S, you will find everything you need. You will find this adapter, and this is called T200S adapter is to recharge from a wall outlet, okay? You will also find the solar charging cable, the same cable DC7909 to MC4 connectors, okay? And a car charging cable, hold on, is here. A car charging cable, again, dropped on the floor, but there we go. So here's a car charging cable, okay? Car charging cable. So I'll turn a cable and an adapter. Let me show you how it's how it charges. So let's say we want to charge from a wall outlet. How can we do that? Can we do that? Yes, we can. So here is the input. It's DC7909, and we plug it in in a wall outlet. Okay, and it already started charging. There we go. We can see on the screen it is now charging and the current input is there on the top and it's 176, 96 watts, okay? There we go. Okay, guys, so now let's go ahead and do our third giveaway, which is going to be as promised, as said previously on bluettypower.com on our website, okay? And the prize is, of course, PV200 portable solar panel really portable and foldable solar panels. So let me go on our website. Okay, there we are. And guys, right now on the website, please start typing Blue Eddy live stream if you wanted to take part in the giveaways because I'm joining the last one right now and I will take a screenshot in 10 seconds when we everybody's ready. Okay, connecting to the live stream right now. So there we go, I can see your comments. So. Yeah, now let's go ahead and um, guys keep typing. Yeah, I can see your comments here, keep typing. Okay, and in 10 seconds we'll take a screenshot. Let's go, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, let's go, okay. And the winner is Travel Diva 2, congratulations. Congratulations, Travel Diva 2. You got our bloody uh, PV200 portable solar panel. Let's go, okay. So, uh, please email us, it's livestream at blueeddy.com, livestream at blueeddy.com for the shipment. Now, uh, for the, yeah, for the, for the shipment, so send us the shipping info. Uh, guys, I would also like to remind you that today, if you purchase any portable power station or solar panel, you will get 5,000 Blue Eddy bucks for free. All you have to do is to note live stream when you are placing the order, add a note say, saying live stream, and we will give you 5,000 Blue Eddy bucks, okay? And one more thing that is happening at the same time is 
the biggest order today, whoever plays the biggest order, will get one PV200 for free. We'll just ship it to you for free as a part of today's fun. Now, the price of EB70S is $449. To realize how amazing this price is, go ahead and, and divide 716, uh, no sorry, 449 by 716. Now you've got 62 cents for a watt hour, where the market price is one dollar for a watt hour, and when the good deal is considered 80 cents for a watt hour. And now we are at 62 cents for a watt hour, which is just fantastic. And again, the runtime of this power station realistically is around 10 years. So you can, what you can do right now is you can get EB70S alone, okay? Or you can get EB70S and PV120S together, and the price would be $648. Or alternatively, you can also get, and I recommend that, you can get EB70S and PV200. So EB70S and PV200 would be $798, okay? That is the price for EB70S and for PV200, $798. And remember guys, when you purchase anything, they add a note live stream and you will get 5,000 Blue Eddy bucks for free. What you can do with this box is you can exchange them for coupons, for gift cards. Uh, basically, you can just knock additional like 50, to I think it's the most 50, 30, 40, 20 bucks off. It depends, but you can get additional discount, which always feels good. And you can also exchange them for our merch. And our merch includes many things, comfy hoodies and t-shirts and caps and camping lanterns and tableware sets for camping and uh, mini fridges and things like that. So Lady Box is a good thing, you wanna have them, especially when we give them to you for free. To realize how much 5,000 Lady Box is, is before we had this promotion, for every US dollar spent, you will get one Lady Box. So you had to spend $5,000. Or even if you're, for example, in the UK, 5,000 British pounds, which is even more, okay? Um, to get 5,000 Lady Box. Now we just give them to you for free, but why is that? Maybe it's too good to be true. <laughs> honestly, sometimes I think it's too good to be true. I honestly, sometimes I think these gifts are, are too much or too good. It's just too hard to convince people. We really, we really give away high quality solar panels that are even under on promotion. They cost what three hundred forty nine dollars or something. We give them away, and all we have to do is just be typing in the comments. So. I honestly think it's too good to be true, but it's not, it's, it's true, it's still true. So, and now we also give you 5,000 bloody box. So guys, here's the thing, you can take part in giveaways, you will get 5,000 bloody box for each power station uh, or solar panel purchased. And, um, oh, here's by the way a very important thing. I said the word each, and so for example, if I want to purchase Ace 300, okay, and 1B300, I get 5,000 bloody bucks, right? But what if I want to purchase Ace 300 and 2B300 batteries? Do I get 10,000 bloody bucks? No, just for one order. Okay. All order. One, okay, so I have to correct myself. So we get 5,000 bloody bucks for each order. Okay, but what if I want to get 10,000 bloody bucks? I can purchase A300, B300, one order, and another order, one more B300. Yes. Yes, okay, so this is how you can beat the system. Here's a bug you can find, guys. So for example, I wanna purchase, um, bum, 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 bum. anyway, for one order, right? Mm -hmm. 5,000 ladybugs for one order. Okay, guys, I won't give any instructions, I'll just give you the rules. You get 5,000 ladybugs for one order, Order, but the order has to be either a power station or a solar panel or expansion battery. It cannot be a cable. It cannot be anything small. <laughs> okay, so um, you know what to say. The rules are the rules. Okay, what platforms is the last giveaway on? The last giveaway will be on YouTube. Uh, 
that's right thank you so much for asking this question because i am losing the time perspective right now guys go on youtube for the last giveaway i'll be sharing the link with you guys right now on facebook just in case you're watching us on facebook and on youtube okay so 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 uh now ev70 has really nothing too much to talk about mm, let's take a look at the outputs it does have interesting outputs so what it has is we have um, two USB-C ports, those are called PD 3.0 ports, okay? Those are basically quick short. I like this color, but this is because we use the <laughs> green screen. It looks blue, oh, wow, it looks beautiful, but it's actually green. So um, two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, two 5521 barrel connectors, uh, 12 volt 10 amps, one 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter port, and uh, four wall outlets and even a built-in light bulb it has three modes a medium high and SOS and 100 to 120 volts 800 watts pure sine wave inverter and the surge power is 1400 watts here here we have a nice carrying handle on the top and we have this wireless turning pad on the top 15 watts maximum so this is the EB70S power station. Um, you can charge it from solar panels, from your vehicle, and from a wall outlet, okay? So this is it, and the price is fantastic. Was it again $449, I imagine? $449, that's right, $449. That is like 60 cents for a watt hour Fantastic price. So go ahead guys and purchase EB70S if you feel like it's a good fit for you, for your uh, lifestyle. Go ahead and absolutely purchase uh, EB70S. It will help you when you're off the grid, when you go camping, when you go have picnic with friends, you wanna stay powered, you want to be able to call your friends, um, you want to charge your laptops, you wanna charge your speakers you want to chart you want to run some fans possibly why not you can endless possibilities come with eb70s so go ahead and purchase one unit if you think like it would contribute to your life in a positive way okay uh i already ordered my solar panels today too difficult to play the game <laughs> Almost feels like, uh, what is it called, Squid Games, the Korean Netflix movie. Uh, no, but it's totally different. I mean, yeah, it's just that we have different platforms. Um, so we have to do one platform at a time. And because we had to cancel the Amazon live stream, uh, we'll do the Amazon, live, Amazon giveaway on YouTube. So basically, our last giveaway is going to be on YouTube. Ooh, that's too much to keep in mind, but uh, guys, I'll just tell you where to go. Go on YouTube for last giveaway. Okay, thank you, everybody. So let me see if we have any other comments. Okay, I want you to. Yeah, I can see you there. I can see you on YouTube. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, we have a delay. Let me see. Okay, cool. So, guys, one more thing I would like to talk about is a C hundred Max. Uh, the reason why is because fantastic price. $1,299. Honestly, when I see those prices, I want to look twice, but it is indeed $1,299. Fantastic price. That is 1299-2048. 63 cents for a watt hour. Now show me a brand that offers lithium iron phosphate batteries for 63 cents for a watt hour, 1,299 total. Why do the newer A6080 models have only one USB-C port, but the older EB70S model has two ports? Great question about it, and you know what? I would ask the same question because I need USB-C ports too, but the reason why is because we wanted to bring the cost down as much as possible. We wanted to make it as affordable for as many people as possible. We just were constantly receiving messages, your power stations, we cannot afford them. So we wanted to make 
one unit, one model that we said, you know what, let's remove everything we, we can to lower the cost without sacrificing the basics like battery chemistry, still the best of the iron phosphate batteries, like the runtime, still 3000 cycles, like safety, still advanced battery management system, convenience, app control, but let's remove the outputs that are not very commonly used, so we only kept one USB-C port. But actually, I would love to have one more USB-C port instead of the USB-A port. Many people share my opinion, but yeah, uh, that's what this is what it is. So the reason why is because we wanted to drag the cost down as much as possible and make it as affordable as possible without sacrificing the basics. Um, any promotion if we buy an A100 Max and AC180, Gary is trying to negotiate if there is any promotion. So, bloody official, please tell Gary if you want to negotiate with him because he says, you know what, I'll buy A100 Max and A180. And uh, is there any promotion though? <laughs> What I know is you'll get 5,000 or 10,000 ladybugs depends on if you place one order or two orders because apparently it's 5,000 ladybugs for an order. Okay guys, I'll jump on Acer Red Max and what I want you guys to do is to give us a like. Thank you so much. It helps a lot to promote our channel. Okay, so AC100 Max. Acer Red Max, amazing price, but is it good, right? Oh, I've already connected the cable. Let me just put this. There's not enough room here. I'll just the water here. A lot of things I have on my desk. Okay. All right. So here is a Heart Max. So first things first, it's 2048 watt hours of battery capacity. And of course, those are the premium lithium iron phosphate batteries. What else? The maximum ACE load is 2200 watts. So again, if you want to run big devices, the wattage is high. Well, it can handle 2200 watts. And the surge power is 4800 watts. It is rated at 3,500 cycles, okay, to 80% of the original capacity. And let's take a look what outputs we have. So on the top, we have two wireless charging pads, 15 watts each, okay, 15 watts here and here, two wireless charging pads. What we have here is um, 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port, okay. We have here is a 12 volt and 30 amp RV plug, 12 volt and 10 amp DC 5521 barrel connectors, USB-C port, 100 watts, USB-A port, so it's a quick charge, right? USB-A port, 5 volts and, uh, sorry, 18 watts, so yeah, this is a quick charge. 5 volts and 3 amps is here. Okay, so we have two standard and two quick charge USB-A ports. And one, two, three, four, four wall outlets, those are 120 volts here and 2,200 watts, okay? And this is a NEMA TT30, uh, the output you can recharge your vehicle from. Now let's take a look at the screen. The screen also is pretty interesting, so I'm just gonna try to put the brightness to medium so that we can see better. All right, so what we can see here is uh, standard things, right? PV input. And we can see input voltage and input power. It's not bright enough, okay, I'll, I'll bring it up. All right, so PV input, grid input, input voltage and input power. Uh, DC load, DC load here. And AC load here. battery and we can natively connect two more batteries so we can see the main battery and two more batteries okay uh, we can turn dc and ac on and off here is the settings language settings ac output voltage okay next ac output frequency 
if you're 60 hertz desync with source pv or others eco mode next we have bluetooth state um, bluetooth buzz settings touch sound and you can restore the factory settings for the usa the brightness you can control it here next we have sleep time on the screen and uh, date settings and time settings let's go back so uh, data here you can see the serial number and all other important things if you need them next we have alarm and that's pretty much it now acer max also has an app control let me show you guys the app control so here is my phone and here is ac turned max Dun, let's go so what we can see here again we can turn dc on or off i just turned dc on and turned ac on we can turn the power station off from the app now yes it does connect to the bluetooth so you have to be within uh 30 feet which is bluetooth range settings user manual here share device with other people auto sleep and firmware upgrade it's probably the most important thing firmware upgrades we have over the air upgrades whenever you need them um the app doesn't have many features in it for a 200 max because a 200 max doesn't have a ups mode okay so here's the user manuals and that is it all right so now if you want to charge a 200 max you can do it different ways you can do it from solar panels for example here i've already connected this uh multifunctional dc turning cable in this case i connected it to a car power socket so you can charge from your vehicle when you're on a road trip okay but obviously it's a large battery capacity so it will take a long time to recharge from your vehicle but if you're on the go why not so you can charge from your vehicle okay you can also charge from your uh from your solar panels so let me grab the solar turn cable real quick there we go okay it's xt 92 mc4 there we go okay and now you can charge from solar panels just like that with mc4 connectors speaking about solar panels guys let's take a look at the input here and we'll find out what is the uh, solar panels voltage limitation so what it says here is 10 to 145 volts and 15 amps so that means it cannot be lower than 10 volts it will just not work and cannot be uh, higher than 145 volts and 15 amps now the amperage that's okay because we have an we have an mppt controller so it only take as much amperage as it needs but the voltage we want to keep it within um 145 volts so what options do we have well you can connect any solar panels on the market that you want to maybe you already have solar panels at home if you don't and you're looking for portable solar panels i would recommend you guys get blue eddy portable solar panels and here's the options that we have for a star max so you can go for three pv 350 panels or three pv 420 panels now the maximum solar input it accepts is 900 watts okay 900 watts maximum so everything over 900 watts will be basically wasted so you don't want to really you know uh plug too many panels all you need is 900 watts so it can be three pv 350 panels it can be um five blue eddy pv 200 panels plugged in series one to one to the other and then connected to a certain max so it can be five p 200 panels right it can be three p 350 panels or three pv 420 panels and one more time the voltage limitations is from 10 to 145 volts and um 900 watts maximum so with three pv 350 panels under good conditions good solar conditions it would take you 2.8 hours to recharge to 100 percent 2.8 hours and it would take you 2.3 hours to recharge to 80 percent okay so if you're looking for portable solar panels for 
A300 Max, I'd probably go for PV350. Or you can also go for uh, PV200, but you, you will need many of those five in series if you want to really max out the solar input. Okay, AC charting, how is AC charting happening? All you need is um, T500 adapter. Let me just show you the adapter. I previously connected it to the B300, so let me just unplug it and show you the adapter. So this is the adapter, what the adapter looks like. Um, a Max Max ex accepts 500 watts of input from a wall outlet or from a generator for that matter. So all you wanna do really is to find the adapter here. And you, yeah, by the way, you can charge from an adapter and from solar panels at the same time. In other words, you can charge from DC and from AC at the same time. So let's, let's try right now. Let me just move my laptop a little bit. Okay. So we can charge from solar panels, right? But if we want to make it even faster, we can also charge from a wall outlet at the same time. All right. I can hear the adapter and let's take a look what what input we're getting okay 600 and uh, sorry 465 watts of input now a very common question is can we charge it while also using it so let's try let's say you want to charge your laptop oh, that's easy right the load is not going to be that high I expect maybe 46 watts or something let's try Okay, now I have to turn DC on here and AC on for AC inverter. So charting started, let's take a look at the output. So it is 43 watts, 46, 44 watts right now. Let's add this waffle maker. Okay, so you see it's here on the AC load, 625 watts. Let's add something else. Let's boil water, for example. I have this kettle here with water in it. And let's try boiling water. So 623, I think I can do it at the same time. Yeah, 17, 18, 1855, awesome. I can also add my phone on the top to charge it wirelessly. Or better, actually, if I'm honest with you guys, I would use a USB cable to charge my phone, it will be just more efficient. And I'll use this 18 watt USB port to charge my phone, okay. So let's see what it is. 60 watts from DC while also charting it at a speed of 438 watts and pulling out 1830 from AC. It runs multiple devices at the same time flawlessly. It really does. Guys, our, give our last giveaway for today is, is the last giveaway? It's going to be, yeah, our last giveaway is, is in three, uh, three, three hours, three minutes, three minutes, okay? So, and it's going to be on YouTube, everybody. So please jump on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is called Blue Eddy, just easy to find and join us there on YouTube. We already have 46 people watching us on YouTube right now. What are the 5,000 points words? It's a good question. So you can exchange those, uh, those 5,000 bloody bucks for uh, discounts, okay? It's hard to say what 5,000 bloody bucks worth. Uh, you can exchange them for discounts. Okay, any other questions? 
I would love to win at PV200 to go with the EB3A I won on a Twitter contest. So you won it on a Twitter contest? That is... <laughs> Barry, that's amazing. Congratulations. You won EB3A and you can now win PV200. That would be great if you won it. We usually purchase at shows and don't get points. That's right, because today is a special day, 48 hour flash sale deal. So yeah, only today you will get special points. Only today. Last chance to get special points, so go ahead and purchase something, guys. Purchase, uh, purchase a power station or a solar panel and get 5,000 Blue Eddy box for each order. That's it. Okay guys, one minute before the giveaway, get ready, everybody jump on YouTube. So if you guys are on Facebook, I will share the link with you right now for, for YouTube so you can join us here. Or I imagine the link is already shared, or isn't it? Yeah, finally can see it. Okay. Or guys, if you are on our website, also go on YouTube, please. Can't write a comment since, since frozen. Anyway, guys, go on YouTube because our last giveaway is going to be on YouTube. So we have one minute for the giveaway. I would like to use it to just tell you guys how amazing the price is right now. So with all those giveaways, it's easy to forget that we have really astonishing prices uh, right now. For EBA 70S, it's only $449. For A180, it's only $799. For A Smart Max, it's only $1,299. For AC300, the price is only $1,399. And for B300, the price is only $1,899. For PV 120S, the price is $199. For PV 200, the price is $349. PV 350, it's $594. Um, EB 70S and PV 120S, it's $648. EB 70S and PV 200 is $798. A280 and P120S, $998. A280 and PV200, $1,148. And A280 and PV350, it's $1,393. Uh, and uh, AC300 and B300, it is two thousand two hundred ninety nine dollars and a three hundred and two b three hundreds it is four thousand one hundred and ninety eight dollars okay giveaway time let's go youtube everybody jump on youtube we have uh twenty let me see let me refresh the page i don't think it's forty nine people watching guys uh give us a like if you have not yet press the like button please do and let's go in ten seconds I'll take a screenshot. It's a test like this, okay? And let's see who wins. So 10 second countdown starting right now. Keep typing, keep typing, keep typing, keep typing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so let's see who is the winner. All right, let's zoom in here. Let's zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. The half Navajo, is that, is that correct? Okay, congratulations. <laughs> The Half Navajo, congratulations, you won our PV200 portable solar panel. PV200 portable solar panel is yours. Now please email us livestream at blueeddy.com so we can ship you this beautiful solar panel, PV200 portable solar panel, which costs $349 under the 
Prime Day giveaway deal uh, on Prime Day giveaway deals um, price, but it's 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 still three hundred forty nine dollars. But for you, it's free because you want it. Just want to make it clear. Okay, cool, guys. Congratulations to all the giveaway winners who won our PV uh, two hundred portable solar panels on different platforms. Remember to send us an email. Our email address is livestream at blueeddy.com. Again, it's livestream at blueeddy.com. Send us your shipping information so we can ship your giveaway to you. Now, please give us a like on YouTube um, and remember to subscribe, of course, okay? And guys, remember to check out the deals we have for a day and they will expire very, very soon, okay? So now it's the last chance, last call to get, um, to get the best deals, okay? So you don't want to miss them. You don't want to miss them. They will expire quite soon. So it's a 48 hour flash sale. Uh, you can save up to $2,000 off. So go ahead and purchase whatever it is that you wanted to purchase. Uh, you wanted to purchase from Blueaddy. Oh, congratulations, Happy Maddie, on your purchase. Okay, <laughs> Bob says you have five seconds to prove you're real. Are you real? <laughs> Say something in the comments. You know, tell, show us you're real. Uh, Okay, guys, now we have five minutes before the end of our live stream, so I would really like, uh, like to get this message across. Guys, it's the best time to purchase whatever you wanted to purchase, so don't put it off and get something for yourself on um, this Prime Day deals. Great opportunity, don't, don't let it go without actually, you know, uh, even discovering what are your options. So, and you have great options today. Again, you can get H300 and B300 if you wanted to get it is the best, it's the lowest price in history. It's the lowest price in history. H300 and B300 is only $2,299. I can't believe it's real, but it is real. And H300 and 2B300s is 4198 dollars So definitely guys, use this opportunity to purchase your favorite power stations for EB70S, for example, if you don't if you don't need such a big power station like A300, and you want to buy, let's say, um, AC180, it is great price. It's great price, seven hundred ninety nine dollars for EB70S. It's four hundred forty nine dollars. For B300 alone, if you just want an additional battery, it's uh, one thousand eight hundred and ninety nine dollars. So go ahead and purchase whatever you guys wanted to purchase. Now is the best time. And for each order, you will get 5,000 Blue Eddy bucks. Remember to note live stream. So, uh, and you'll get additional 5,000 Blue Eddy bucks for each order. And the biggest order today will get one PV200 for free. This is in addition to all the giveaways we did. So the biggest order today will get 5,000, oh yeah, sorry, we'll get, we'll get one PV200 for free okay now guys if you have any questions let us know can we find out who made the maximum purchase day during the live stream yeah i you know what it's a great question do you want to post it on facebook maybe that someone got we of course will blur the personal information and name we'll just get the, one of our users one of our users made the purchase spent let's say four thousand dollars whatever and one it's is it going to be available for the public to see who made the biggest order? Uh, I think we will announce the winner in the next live stream. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Maybe we will post it on Facebook. Okay, so yeah, the winner will be announced. But what channel we don't know yet. Thank you for the live stream. I had fun time. <laughs> Bob, you always have fun time. I think it's... Uh, I think this is the right attitude. So very interesting to know. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but we had, uh, we also were very happy that you were here. And thank you everybody. Very happy to meet new friends. Thank you for support and likes. And guys, definitely go ahead and get something for yourself. Don't let those prime deals just go without, without buying something for yourself. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Robert, thank you, everybody. Okay, let me see some other comments. 
trying to check multiple platforms at the same time. Good night, good night, good night, everybody. Have a great night, great evening, and good night. Okay, congratulations on all the purchases. Congratulations on uh, the wins. Yeah, big giveaways today. Big giveaways today, guys. Let's go. All right, so please follow us on Facebook and on YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook uh, to stay in the known about the best deals and to keep in touch, okay? Uh, because you really don't want to miss it. Yeah, so, and we have a, it's a last call today. <laughs> so definitely, even, because we don't have a special discount code, uh, even after the last stream, you can just go and purchase whatever you want. Guys, I really hope you will be happy with your purchase and you'll use it for a long, long time and you'll just be happy with that. That's really our goal here at Blue Eddy. Just need more happy people, more happy, more happy customers. When is next live stream? Oh yeah, great question. So, uh, when is the next live stream? Tomorrow do we have a live stream? Tomorrow. No, we don't have a live stream tomorrow. Sunday. On Sunday. Uh, let's, uh, next live stream is on Sunday, 7 p.m. PDT. <laughs> yeah, Bowen, I do, I do. Everybody needs a rest after uh, Prime Day deals. Woo, overwhelming, but guys, happy Prime Day, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for choosing Blue Eddy, and take care. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.